Hey guys, this is Matt from Headwaters Adventure, and today we're going to be doing an install of the H-Rail upgrade kit for the Outback. So that's going to be taking off these rear bungees and replacing it with an H-Rail bar, kind of like, or exactly like what's up front on the Outback already. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take apart the rear rails on your Outback. So take off the bungees, both sides, easy thumb screws. Take your screwdriver or your drill and undo the two screws. And these are all bolted in too, huh? The piece that's actually going to be replaced is going to be this guy right here. So in this package there's going to be new end fittings that will cradle the bar and bolt it back together. Alright, so in this kit you've got one bar from each side and obviously the side with the track is going to be your top. You've also got your end fittings in the package here. Yeah. And you'll also get new pieces for your bungee cords. So here you have ones that will actually snap around a bungee where your new ones are going to insert into the track and slide in like so, just like the ones in the front. I'm sure there's a left and a right here. Probably like that, I would think. Yeah, no? So there is a left and right side to the bracket. When you're installing this, you want to have it lined up with the edge here where your bolt's going to go through, but also so that it's going to touch the sides uh, with, the edges, with the edges of the bracket. So after you have your bar set, you want to grab your original bolt and have it lined up with the insert. And then you will place the old piece back over the top, just like so. Send that in, tighten it down. And I'll leave that loose at first, and we'll get everything started. before we tighten everything down. All right, so after you get your, your bit, 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 bit. All right, so after you get your screw set in the bar, you'll want to take all of your self-tapping screws and reinstall them. Be careful when you're doing these self-tapping screws because if you over tighten them, they will strip. So you want to do it gentle. Preferably you'll want to do it with a regular screwdriver. It is easy to over tighten them with something like this. I've just been doing it for a long time. And that's it. Uh, after that, they do give you some different attachments for your end fitting so that instead of uh, clipping around the bungee, it'll actually insert into the bar. We'll see how easy it is to get this untied. It might be easier to just cut it. We'll just cut it. And don't let go of it. So once you cut it, you'll probably have to singe the ends because that is not going to go the small hole that is provided in these pieces. So, singe it, 
lick your fingers, make it as small as possible, and then hopefully it'll go through. Got it. So just twist it and be patient. Once you can grab it, it's a lot easier. And then just tie a basic overhand knot in the end and it can't go anywhere. And this is so that you can lock down a Play-Doh box or anything else in your uh, well, this little cradle right here that is provided for you. Singe that one up, it'll suck right in, and now you can tie things down with that bungee. And that's it. You're ready to go. A good reason to do something like this too is to have, uh, say, a camel mount. This metal bar is far more rigid than your plastic one is. So if there's anything that has torque or if it's swinging, or if you just want something a little more trustworthy, always go with the metal brackets. Because plastic is great, but if you have anything that has weight or flex to it, it is just plastic and it can flex out. Alright, for more information and other videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Headwaters Adventure Company. And until next time, stay fishy, my friends.